we oftentimes teach machines to see by providing training sets or examples of what we want it to learn. So for example, if I want a machine to see a face, I'm going to provide many examples of faces and also things that aren't faces. I started looking at the data sets themselves, and what I discovered is many of these data sets contain majority men and majority lighter skinned individuals, so the systems weren't as familiar with faces like mine. And so that's when I started looking into issues of bias that can creep into technology. The 9000 series is the most reliable computer ever made. No 9000 computer has ever made a mistake or distorted information. A lot of our ideas about AI come from science fiction. Welcome to Altair 4, gentlemen. It's everything in Hollywood. It's the Terminator. Hasta la vista, baby. It's Commander Data from Star Trek. I just love scanning for life forms. It's C-3PO from Star Wars. It's approximately 3,720 to 1. Never tell me the odds. It is the robots that take over the world and start to think like human beings. And it's all totally imaginary. What we actually have is we have narrow AI. And narrow AI is just math. We've imbued computers with all of this magical thinking. AI started with a meeting at the Dartmouth Math Department in 1956, and there were only maybe 100 people in the whole world working on artificial intelligence in that generation. The people who were at the Dartmouth Math Department in 1956 got to decide what the field was. One faction decided that intelligence could be demonstrated by ability to play games, and specifically the ability to play chess. In the final hour-long chess match between man and machine, Kasparov was defeated by IBM's Deep Blue Supercomputer. Intelligence was defined as the ability to win at these games. Chess world champion Gary Kasparov walked away from the match, never looking back at the computer that just beat him. Now, of course, intelligence is so much more than that. And there are lots of different kinds of intelligence. Our ideas about technology and society that we think are normal are actually ideas that come from a very small and homogeneous group of people. But the problem is that Everybody has unconscious biases, and people embed their own biases into technology. 